If you're looking for a new graphics card and it has to have DLSS, then good news as Nvidia has released its new graphics card, the RTX 5050. Slotting in below the 1080p card, the RTX 5060, should this even more budget card be on your shopping list? This video is going to be pretty quick, partly because we only have one card, the Gigabyte Gaming OC, but also due to the performance of this card and its competition, we don't really need to scroll. At 1080p, the RTX 5050 comes in between the RTX 4060 and the AMD RX 7600. Coming in behind Intel's budget card, the ARC B580, though it is quite a bit faster than Nvidia's last entry level card, the RTX 3050, as well as the RTX 2060. The next fastest Nvidia card, the RTX 5060, is 29% faster. Enabling ray tracing is a strain on these entry level cards, with the RTX 5050 now coming in below the RTX 3060, and the RTX 4060 now being 9% faster, and the ARC B580 being 19% faster. Still, without ray tracing, most of these cards can produce a pretty playable experience, with the RTX 5050 producing 72.2 FPS at 1080p, which is with ultra quality settings. While 1080p is probably the maximum resolution you'll want to play at, at 1440p the RTX 5050 does give you pretty similar performance to the RTX 4060, which does mean the ARC B580 is 13% faster. Though performance does fall at 4K, with the 5050 now coming in below the 3060 again, the RTX 4060 now being 6% faster, and the ARC B580 being a whopping 36% faster, which is actually even faster than the RTX 5060. At least with its lower performance comes lower power consumption, though not as low as you might expect. While it does only use 127 watts while gaming, which is below the RTX 5060 at 135 watts, it is slightly above the RTX 4060, a card which is a bit faster. That does mean that the overall efficiency of the RTX 5050 isn't that amazing, coming in below every Nvidia card from the current and last generation though it is a bit more efficient than the Intel Arc B580. It is also a bit quieter, at least with this Gigabyte model that we're testing, though that may not hold true on smaller 1 and 2 fan designs. When it comes to overclocking though, there is a bit of good news for the RTX 5050, as we were able to eke out almost 10% better performance at the stock power, and a little bit over 12% at max power. While not a lot in pure frames, that does at least push it above the RTX 4060. But really the ultimate test for this card is its performance per dollar. Typically the lower the card is in a product stack, the better the value, but unfortunately that is not the case here. This Gigabyte edition of the 5050 at $275 does provide better value than the RTX 5060 Ti 16 Gigabyte, but a bit below the AMD RX 7600 at $250 and the RTX 4060 at $270. But this Gigabyte card is one of the more premium ones, so what about the models at MSRP? At $250, it does provide better value than the RTX 4060, and similar value to the RTX 5060 Ti 8GB, but even at that price it does fall behind the Intel Arc B580 at the same $250, as well as its bigger brother the RTX 5060. In fact you'd have to find this card at $225 to make this card the most value oriented Nvidia card, though even at that low price it only matches the AMD RX 9060 XT 8GB. If you have only $250 to spend and you are looking for the best performance for your dollar, that is going to be the Intel Arc B580, though if you can swing it, the extra $50 for the 5060 or 9060 XT may be worth it. Though if you are hard capped at $250 and want Nvidia, then the RTX 5050 is a decent value, though you may be better served waiting for a sale on the RTX 4060.